Yo, what is up everybody, this sweep here, back with another ladder video. Today we are playing some top ladder in Clash Royale. I just watched UFC 300 last night, it was an absolute banger. Um, comment what you guys thought down below about the UFC, I don't know if anyone watches UFC in my chat, but honestly the fights were amazing. Um, I did a little sports betting, you know what I mean? And honestly I got most of them right, I did a pretty cool parlay and I hit it, so I was pretty happy. Um, only one was Oliveira. <laughs> Who didn't win by submission that's the only one i actually lost and but yeah other than that the fights were amazing i feel like it was a great just a great ufc but yes we're playing some top ladder right now and basically i am playing this funky version deck again um i like it it works well and we're gonna win a lot of games with it so basically i'm just roll hogs here and the reason I'll, I'll explain why this deck works is because Dagger Duchess does not do good against like big big pushes right so if you just stack a giant skeleton goblin giant landing push and double it ain't defending shit so so this deck works really well so basically for single though you want to pretty much just survive until double if you know what i mean so like right here he's like defending right he has archer queen so i'm just gonna zap that to be honest i think these minions were bad but it is what it is i know he's gonna go off something because i i overcommitted i literally spent five elixir on an archer queen but it is what it is so he's gonna try to punish me for spending that much elixir so that's why i know that's why i know the set of plays is gonna be i need to punish him so that's why i'm also going to predict his bomber at the bridge with little prince really good play it saves me the game because if i take that damage i lose so much i'm gonna pop ability here too um just the fact that it's annoying <laughs> honestly that's kind of the best thing you can do right there is just play it like that and yeah pop that evo bomber doesn't get a hit on tower which i was hoping for but it is what it is, so yeah, all that's gonna die. But we get some damage, we're actually up damage right now. But my hand is really bad, so like he should go roll hogs right here. And basically, what I want to do on defense right now is I want to go, I would, I'd rather go Evo Zap and minions on defense. But I'm gonna go in the back here with a goblin giant because I'm gonna try to build a goblin giant landing push. I'm not expecting this push to win the game, but it's just to kind of fix my hand. Like, I'm expecting him to go hogs here, so I'm gonna go minions. I'm not gonna overcommit though, I want to save my lightning, but yeah, so he goes for his. Fire Spirit, which I don't think is a good play. Like, we kind of even out damage. So now we got this, like, split lane, split lane push coming, which is kind of badass. I'm going to Evo Zap here because, you know, skeletons are annoying. And basically, all that's going to die, and it's good for me. He decides to go in for hogs. I don't like this play because, um, yeah, this is just going to give me a counter push. I might go minions at the bridge in case he has a Evo uh, Bomber because, I don't know, I just woke up. So maybe my, uh, my gameplay is not the best right now. And yeah, basically we're gonna defend with this. And I'm gonna go Goblin in the back here because I do have the Little Prince in the right lane and the Bowler. So there's no way he could pressure off lane right now. So that's a good play if you guys wanna take some notes on that. And basically I'm gonna go Bowler here for his Hogs. I already predicted it. You know, we do what we do. And yeah, it's good for me. I'm gonna let this push go now. Cause he's gonna overcommit, he pops ability. He spent way too much looks there guys. Like if you're gonna defend like that, like he just needed the cannon near. I'm gonna zap here. And here we go, now it's big push time, eh? So I'm gonna go minions here. He decides to go with that, which I don't like at all. Cause that is, he gets some damage, but he really ruins his hands. So I'm gonna go evil bomber in the middle as well. Kind of stop him from playing any skeletons and stuff like that. Because yeah, we get a good zap here as well. And he just over committed really hard. That is an insane bomber too. Destroy his bomber, pop ability. And we just go minions here and we just win the game off of his one over commitment bomber at the bridge, boys. Let's go. A little stressful thing, but honestly, it wasn't too bad. If he pressured more with hogs though, I think I would have had a harder time. It's a plus 36 too, which is holy moly. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be opening my uh, <laughs> my reward thing just so you guys can see what I get as well. And here we go, coming up for the second game. Basically, this is just a deck where you shine in double and triple, but your biggest weakness is if you overcommit in single, you just lose. Because I literally have three six elixir cards and one five elixir card so yeah there's it, there's not a lot of cycle in this deck so if you make a misplay you're most likely getting punished for it so this q time is not gonna be too long right now basically i'm pretty sure the match is gonna come up right now all right into the next game here we are versus carl the legend which is he's a legend he's a lava player and a lot of people have been asking me how do you beat lava and this is gonna be the master class experience experience of how to be lava so I'm gonna go bomber in the back. It's always good to cycle bomber in the back. You just get that one card cycle. Like they gotta make it two card cycle. Like this card's insane. So basically that's gonna happen. And yeah, he goes lava. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in for a gob giant and bowler. And if he defends all that, I'm gonna go minions on top. So basically we're just gonna spend all of our elixir. Like that's what she, you wanna spend all your elixir. Listen, but he misplays his tombstone. <laughs> no, Carl, not like this. And he goes skelly dragon. So he's just spent seven. So he's at zero elixir right now. And basically, it's going to be a lot of damage for us. And he zaps as well. So, like, I'm not even worried about anything right now. 
I'm just I'm just gonna take my damage and be on my merry way. I should have popped ability here. But in my mind, I'm like, that's never commit. Because if I, in my head, I'm like, if he goes Valk, Balloon, the bridge, I need the lightning. You know what I mean? So that's just my thought process right now. Maybe it's not a good thought process, but it's my thought process. So, yeah. Because I always try to think of what the best play is, what they what they want to do. That's what you guys should do in your games as well. So he's going to go in the back here. So I'm going to go Gob Giant. And basically, we're going to just, we're going to cycle. That's what we do. He's going to go in. I'm like, okay. He doesn't have Skelly Dregs because he is the way cycle works. He doesn't have them. So I'm gonna go low prince low. I'm gonna go my minions high on top of this. He's gonna fireball these, which is oh, they just to say don't kill it. My spear goblins just to say kill it. I probably should have zapped on defense here. I'm not lying, but mm, it is what it is. Yeah, see this hand here. Well, what would you guys do in this position? Obviously, it's giant skeleton at the bridge, right? <laughs> so basically. His tower is at like 50% for like the dagger, so I want to pop this and try to make this get the tower. Even then, the giant skeleton bomb. Like, I'm just trying to get it out of my hand so I can cycle back to something that's like more better. You know what I mean? So there we go. This is going to do some damage. And yeah, GG, GG. So yeah, he goes balloon here, thinking that like I got nothing, but I got lightning. So this is good for me. Only problem right now, though, is he has Evo Valk. So the fact that I didn't take a tower in single is really hard for me. So I'm going to go in here with like this and this. And basically, just try to do some damage. Because I need to pressure opposite lane, right? So he's got Valk. He doesn't have Evo Valk. I'm actually dumb. I thought he played it twice already, but I guess not. Yeah, he definitely didn't. What am I smoking? All right, we're, we're going to try to do that same play I did last time of this. But since, since that doesn't, you know, kill it, I don't want I don't want my minions to die to his Mega Minions. So I'm going to zap all this. I got Evo Zap now. We take some damage on the right lane, but that's okay. It's like, splitting damage is a professional skill boys <laughs> if you don't believe me well that sucks because it is he plays the worst valk possible i've ever seen pulls it back it's one bomber hit and i'm gonna landing his tower too just because i can i'm gonna go minions right away so this is what it's what you want to do is like when they go like something at the bridge you want dps down right away like don't wait you know what i mean like just start getting that damage down as soon as you can he was up on defense too because that's kind of what he wants to do and basically i'm going to try and go in again <laughs> Giant Skeleton, because it's basically a wasted card, right? So this is helps get the Valk out of hand. I'm going to try to spend all this Elixir right now. Try to build this big monster push that, you know, I don't think he could defend. Like, he should be playing Skelly Dragons on top of that, but he's, like, he's playing super passive. And it's, like, a big mistake a lot of players do. So right now, I'm going to go Gob Giant a little higher here. So I know he's gonna, probably going to go in here. So I'm going to go Minions on top of this. And I'm going to go for my Bowler, I think. Bowler seems like a great play. Bowler here. Yeah, so he overcommits with that. Uh, fireball, so he's at, not at a lot of elixir right now. So I just, like I said, we're all playing at zero. <laughs> and But I played the better at zero, because I, I feel like I was up elixir this whole game. And yeah, that's me beating Carl. So that's a good game, mute emotes, because I'm toxic like that. <laughs> and there we go, that's another game on the board. We are currently number fifth in the world. And I'm going to queue up again. So I think we need two more games for number one. And we will get a game right away. That's amazing. So where's Amar? This guy's lava again. So these lava players. Oh my god, lava is so broken this season, boys. Should I do a lava video? In the comment down below if you guys want to see a lava video. He cycles zap. I cycle zap. Boo yeah, buddy. Um, he goes in the back though, so this is where I want to capitalize, right? Because going Valk in the back is a really bad play as a lava player. It's like you have two ground troops and one's your Valk and the other's a tombstone. So by doing this, you basically just sacrifice so much. So I'm gonna go low prince here. And yeah, try to DPS this down because they have my tower, obviously. But yeah, he, he has this all across the board. I'm like, okay, what you doing? I'm trying to push my Gob Giant <laughs> with all my troops, but he has. Oh, so this is really bad because he's eye drag. So it's perfect zap, but he also has a good zap, and just like, oh, oh boy, oh no 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 no. So eye drag's a problem, guys. Um, he has evil zap now too because he's played it twice off the first play. Which is super annoying, in my opinion. Like, why does Evo Zap do that? Like, hello? So I'm going to go Giant Skull in the back here. Because he's gonna, he has to go Valk into it. And basically, I could do whatever I want with what he does here. So in my mind, I want to go Lightning on top of his Valk and Skelly Drags. And then play my Evo Bomber for his um, Tombstone. So I could break through. But none of that happens. So I think I just go Gob Giant here and go for my Evo Bomber as soon as he Lava's too. And he decides to try to defend with Tombstone too, which is not a good play because you're already over committing on your defense, you know what I mean, with all this. But look at the Giant Skeleton push my stupid troop into the opposite lane. 
gosh. That sucks. He's at zero elixir right now, so that's why I go minions right away. And I go, uh, yeah, just minions. Because he does not have enough, have enough for Skelly Dregs, he doesn't have enough for Zebo Zap, and that's just basically all dies. So I'm gonna let that go with my Zap. Really good Zap, though. Keeps it alive. He goes Balloon into my minions. Like, bro. So I'm gonna go Gob Giant here. And I'm like, okay, buddy, what was your plan? And he decides to go for his Evo Valk, which does not pull my uh, Little Prince in, which is really good for me. So I'm gonna try to keep this alive with a giant skeleton as well, because that's what you want to do. And this is where it gets interesting, because he decides to sack this. I'm like, okay. I don't think that's a good play, but we'll see. I make a pretty bad play here. I go minions on top of this, and uh, 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 they die. If those stayed alive, I would have been good. But yeah, so now I have to defend this. So I'm gonna laning right away, and then go for my little prince to the right. And then go for my bomber in the back, right? He's got to give a zap, which resets the tower, but it still gets two hits. Wait, three hits? Okay, it doesn't. So I'm gonna, there's 10 seconds left. I'm like, I could defend this, you know what I mean? This should not be that hard to... Oh, shit, it's that hard to defend. Oh, no, it's that hard to defend. The Valk gets a hit. I stun everything with the giant thing. I know. Oh! GG. GG. Calculated, not even close, boys. So, yep. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there we go. We're number two in the world right now. And basically, I'm going to queue up for another game. Try to get number one. And I'll cut to the next game. All right, boys. So this is a uh, this is a key on what not to do. Okay. <laughs> so we're Siak here. He's an amazing Turkish player. Yo, shout, out, shout out Turkey. And uh, basically, yeah, I go bomber in the back. He goes knight. I'm like, what is he running? Okay. I should have known it was graveyard because of this guy. So I zap his tower. So, versus decks like this that have, um, let's say, a lot of defensive cards, you just want to spell cycle, pretty much. So, that was the big mistake I did this game, was not spell cycling. So, I, like, I should have just went Gob Giant opposite lane, though, because I knew this would have killed. But in my head, at this moment, I was thinking it was Expo for some reason. I don't know why. But I decided to go Bull, and this is a huge overcommit, too, because, like, he's Phoenix. I'm like, yeah, I know it's not Expo. Now I'm thinking it's RG. Then I see the thing, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Then, eventually, it clicks in that it's Graveyard. Um, but yeah, I just, I made a lot of mistakes this game, boys. Like, even with, like, my, like, everything I did was just a big overcommit. <laughs> like, I don't know why I did half the things I did. Like, I just went, this is me getting impatient after playing Clash for a while. I don't know if you guys do this too, but this is just a key of what not to do. So I knew his tower was lowish, but even on this Evo Bomber, like, what does this Evo Bomber achieve? In my head, I'm like, okay, this is gonna kill it, you know what I mean? That's gonna make it to tower, and I win the game. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna psych zap it, but nope. He plays, he plays it. He does not risk it. He activates King with a bar barrel. Even though the Giant Skeleton Bomb probably should have killed that. As if Giant Skeleton Bomb does not kill a bar barrel. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So now, now I'm in a bad spot. Like a really bad spot, boys. He's got King activated. I got nothing, dude. Oh my god. Okay. A little Prince in the back. Let's see, let's see, let's see. He goes Tesla. Like here I should just go Gob Giant Lightning. You know what I mean? I go Giant Skeleton. Like, why? Why am I going Giant Skeleton? Hello? I can't go Gob Giant Lightning because it's single, and I'll lose because I'm over commit. Because if someone has a fence and counter pushes, I just lose. So he decides to defend it like this, which is interesting. I'm going to go Bowler in the back here. This is actually a pretty good defense idea right here. I'm not going to lie. So I go Bomber in the back. I go Minions in the right. And I block this at the bridge so he doesn't go Graveyard. Really, really solid defense by me. Um, I don't think I need anything for the graveyard. Actually, I think I do. Because even then, like, it's looking a little bit of damage. Here we go. Get one bowler hit in the left. Because that was a really good play by me. But he does have this troop right here, which is so annoying. Gosh, Evo Tesla is broken, man. But yeah. So Evo Tesla just makes players play more defensive. And that's so boring. So boring. There we go. Get a really nice defense down. Like, okay, from this point on, I should just go Gob Giants in the back and Lightning the Tesla. Nothing else I should be trying to do here. Like, I just need Lightning damage, but I'm not doing that because I'm a bot. I don't want to play my Little Prince in the middle because it gets sniped by a Tesla, so I play it there. Honestly, mistakes, it's the poison on my tower. And here is where I want to build this Lightning push. But my Little Prince decides to stop fucking shooting. Now I have to deal with this shit in the right lane. Oh yeah, this, this, game, this game was scuffed. This game was scuffed as shit. But yeah, see how I'm not laying the tower? Like, I'm never gonna break through with this push anymore. So I just gotta accept my losses and break through with my uh, with my lightnings, you know what I mean? And try it and like not take any damage from the graveyards and kind of win off that. 
You know, that's the big, big problem right now with this game. See, so yeah, like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. I should just ignore that. Come on, go. Okay, I go in the back there. He's gonna poison. Ugh, I should just be doing stuff. I need to spell more. What am I doing to zap the tower? I'm a bot. I'm playing this game so bad. There should be a key on what not to do, boys. Yeah, like, literally, you gotta, you gotta play your troops, you know? Don't even kill that. I zap it all. I'm not even using my evil bomber well. They just keep dying to bar barrels. And look at this, dude! Nah, this is scuffed. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that Tesla does not die to the bomb. <laughs> Here I try to prediction his little prince. But he pushes my gob giant with his knight, which is a really good play. I didn't even notice that until after I looked at it. That was a good play by him. And I, I don't have anything for his graveyard right here. Honestly, he probably should have zapped. The fact that I don't zap, I lose the game off that, by the way. The, I gotta zap these three in the back. But I don't. Because I'm a bot. Because <laughs> honestly, if I zap that, I win. I'm not even kidding. I go for a lightning here on everything. And basically just try... I'm trying to get on tower, like, really bad. Okay, I gotta get on tower. Like, I'm trying to break through. Like, I'm not breaking through, bro. I'm not breaking through. Yeah, honestly, if, if I did zap those three skeletons, there's a good chance I do win here, though. Because honestly, like, it's not, it's not going to be too bad. Because if I if I just landing here, get my Evo zapped down, I'm, I would be up a lot of damage here. So, honestly, just a little mistakes on my end. Make it close for content. But yeah, guys, try this deck out. That's, the end was a key of not of what not to do. And yeah, guys, hey, I'll see you guys next banger video. We're going to push the number one on stream soon. So I hope you guys are there for that. And yeah, guys, peace out, everybody. Have a good day. Like and subscribe. Shoshi!